So we looked at the uh, sequence matcher class, which returns uh, the ratio method of this class. It returns this number, but now we need to see how to get the most similar word out of, of a list or out of, of uh, the keys of a dictionary. So let's focus first on, on a list, on a sequence. So, so a list is a sequence. And from diff lib import get close matches. Now if you do help get close matches. Uh, you can see the arguments that you can pass to this method. Uh, so the first one is the word. So that's that will be the word that the user passes. And then you have a sequence of possibilities. And so what is a sequence for which close matches are desired? Typically a string. So typically this will be a string that you want to compare. And possibilities is a list of sequences or a list of strings, you can say. So typically it's a list of strings. And then you have n equals to 3. Uh, that will define the number of the matches that you want the get close matches method to return. Uh, let's say you pass a list of possibilities with um, six items. And each item has that ratio. So from 1 to 0, uh, from 0 to 1. And uh, this method will return the three most similar matches, the most similar strings to the uh, word passed in here. You can change that argument value if you want. And you have a cutoff. So that's the ratio here. You uh, By default, this will return only those items that have a ratio of at least 0 0.6 or greater than that. So under that, the matches will be not included. Q to end the help and get, uh, let me try, close matches. Let's see what we get. Let's say rain. And then you have a list in square brackets, of course. Mm. Let's say help. Pyramid and rain. And I'll leave the uh, N and the cutoff as they are by default. And so in this case, you get rain. The reason you get rain is because rain had a cutoff of greater than 0 0.6 or similar to that. If you're interested about the uh, cutoff, you can use a sequence matcher, but we are not interested in that, in the in the specific value. Um, so rain was the only one who satisfied those conditions. So we get rain here as a list. So, okay, we are able to get a close match out of a list, but how do we get the close match out of our dictionary keys? Well, uh, we still have a data variable here, which I loaded previously here uh, um, in, in this session. I loaded uh, from the JSON file. So with that data um, dot case, so the, there's a method of dictionaries, which is called keys. And with that, you can get a list of all the keys of the dictionary. So we're talking about only the keys, not the values of the keys. So these are the words, and each of them has a value associated with it. And basically, you can check the type of data.keys just to see what it is. So it's, it's like a dict keys object, but it behaves uh, like a list. And yeah, what you could do then is apply the get matches method. So you pass uh, you pass rain there to data dot case. Let's see what we get. <laughs> so we got three matches. Uh, we got rain, train, and rainy. <laughs> you know, if you pass an n of five, you get more matches there. Uh, but it's important to know that. The list here is ordered, so uh, the first, the very first word is the one with 
a higher ratio of similarity. Uh, so we are only interested in that first word. Uh, how to get that? Well, you can ignore this uh, number since you only want the first word and you can pass zero there because you know this is a list and the first item has an index of zero. Uh, so you get rain for the rain and uh, mistyped word. So yeah, basically we have the engine to get the most similar word out of a sequence now. And uh, all we have to do is uh, to implement that functionality in our function in here. So first I would just like to let the user know through a message that they have uh, input a wrong word. So I just want to let the user know and so that then they can run the program again. So next time they input in a new word for now, but later we will do something more intelligent. So for now, just think about this, uh, give out a message uh, when you, where you mention your suggestion with the correct word that the user may have be, uh, may have had in mind. So let's do that in the next lecture. See you.